Morning chaps, first of the month. I'm really grabbing the bull by the horns today. I've only got until three o'clock, it's my day to do the school run. And I've got up on that wall that we painted lovely yesterday. And I've started to put some ready mix joint cement in there. You see that? So there are a couple of gaps, which I think are probably gonna show if I do put a logo on that wall. So I'm just making sure that I don't have to do the bloody job twice. So I've got straight up this morning, patched that up a little bit. And I'm also now contemplating what final colors to put on this wall. I'm really not sure. Black and white, black and gray. I probably have decided by the end of the day. But what do you think? I kind of like the gray at the top. If you look at that wall, the gray looks good at the top and then a white, white base. But I still can't make my mind up, folks. So, uh, yeah, tricky one this morning. So I don't want to start painting, of course, if I change my mind on the colours. Having said that, though, I do have to apply some more damp stop to this side of the building. So regardless, it's more painting, folks. It's more painting, yeah. So I'm going to have to get some paint on the wall today. Because I need that damp stop to be dry before we apply the final coat uh, what either whatever we decide to go with That's the full tin of the Ron Seal Damp Stop applied. We need to obviously do a little bit more. You can see there's bits up here, a little bit up in this corner there. But uh, I should have got two tins by the looks of things. So I'm gonna come back to this wall over here now and uh, hopefully this has dried a little bit. And where there was a big gap, the foam, yeah, it's gone off. So I can put another coat of filler on there and then come and blast it again with the white emulsion. Hopefully that'll be dry. Uh, and then I can figure out how I'm gonna project the logo onto that wall to draw it on there really big. I do have a projector, it's not mine, but I've got one here, which I used for a presentation in the pub last year. So hopefully I can jerry-rig it to broadcast a big logo on that wall, and then we just trace it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't think I've got the right PC here to hook it up to. But uh, main thing, get the emulsion on. Right, I've decided to cut some more bands for the tanks. Seems I've pretty much run out of painty poo. Uh, I did cut one or two with the grinding wheel with a one inch slitting disc. It just gobbles the discs up. So even though using the plasma cutter, it just leaves a bit of a rough edge. I have to get off with a grinding disc, you know, the dross. But at least a grinding disc, I'm not gonna go through a grinding disc cleaning off 30 of these, where I seem to be getting through uh, one cutting disc for every couple of strips. So we're firing up the plasma. That's what we're gonna use to, uh, to chop these up. So hopefully I'll be able to get enough lengths to do all the bands on all the tanks today. I'll probably end up cutting all this steel into 50 mil lengths. You could be mistaken for thinking I've been on 40 a day in this smoky environment. But I've cut that big pile of steel down there. And, uh, yeah, just had a little mishap with the table. I think it'll sand out. 
Using the plasma, I've cut several lengths of stainless steel at 50 millimeters wide. And I've also cut 10 of these bad boys. I only need eight at the minute, but these are the uh, end brackets, if you like, that will sit on there in order for me to clamp together. In fact, it'll be that way, like that. So all I need to do now is find the center of these and pop a hole in there big enough for the M10 bolts to fit through. So we've got three of the tank bands on the floor there and I've put one on the HLT. So what I've decided to do, obviously fixings at the back where all the gubbins are, the element, you're not going to see it. And then I've decided to put it in the centre because in the future I will put another band on the bottom here and same with that one, another band on the bottom. So, and this one will just have one at the bottom, I think. I don't think I'm going to put one in the middle on there. So I'm going to have another five bands to make at some point, but I'm hoping somebody's got a guillotine available and they can slice this steel for me because it's a pain in the arse cutting it with the plasma because I have to clean the edges up and everything. So next time I order some steel from our friends over at ACS Metals in Lincoln, I'll be asking for uh, a few lengths of 1.6mm stainless guillotine for me, save me, even if I have to pay 10 quid for it, it's cheaper than my time I guess. We've got the bands on the tanks and they look pretty good, I'll show you in a second, I just want to say Stuart's not going to be happy because somebody's been in to the Black Dragon Welsh Cider. Now, I'm not sure who it is, but when he finds out, yeah, he'll be quite upset. Anyway, let's go and have a look at these bands on the, on the tanks. Half past six, boys and girls, another late one. Any chance, oh, you just want to play football, don't you, all the time. Oh, passed it back to me, look. He's getting good at this football malarkey, aren't you, boy? So yeah, bing, bang, bong. All the tanks, apart from the mash tun, have bands on. So these can get pushed into position. As we know, the inside of the tanks as well have had their polish. Looks a bit rough, but trust me, that's as smooth as a baby's butthole. So once I get these lids, which we've got all glued up, and ready to go, they're just, they're all here, look. The three lids are here. So once we get those on, then we can start running the CIP again, and then I can work on a manifold for the mash tun, pump and heating elements for the boil kettle and HLT. Then we're ready to brew. Anyway, I'm gonna to continue to drink this Gwennit Drig Welsh cider. I think I just ruined that word but I think that's what it's called, and I'm gonna ring Gemma to come and collect me and take me home. It's been another long day. We'll see you tomorrow. 
Oh, and by the way, yeah, I didn't pick the kids up because Abby was poorly, so Gemma finished work early. That's why I'm still here. Ciao.